Traditionally, bodybuilders prefer to train on the West Coast, the land of sunshine and fresh air. But Rich Gaspari is breaking down that perception, training year-round in his small New Jersey hometown. Now, recently we traveled there to see just how different Rich's life is from his California counterparts. I don't have my back. Family dinners at the Gaspari household have not changed much since Rich's parents came to this country in 1962. But mama's cooking is just one temptation Rich Gaspari must avoid to become a champion. Twelve hours earlier, Rich made a breakfast every bit as well, just as he has for the past six years. The concoction features ten egg whites, one yolk, oat bran, bananas, and blueberries in one large pile, just your typical breakfast of champions. I really don't eat for taste. <laughs> Basically just eat because of the nutrients and what I know what's going into my body. So right now it's just fulfilling me. <laughs> but for Rich, food is just one price to pay for building a championship body, a price he started paying as a youngster 15 years ago. Today, Rich trains year-round, a discipline shared by anyone who lives in his house, even his pet cockatoo, Tasha. <laughs> See if she could do some uh, some chin-ups. Come on, up, one, two. Come on. <laughs> all the other on. objects around me, all the other people around me, uh, are totally blocked out. Feelings are totally blocked out. I'm just totally in focus of the contest. It's the mental preparation that is most demanding on those who love and support Rich, like his brother Mike. When he gets in his moods or whatever, I just like stay away from him because I know what, what his purpose is for. It's not just for anything, not because he had a bad day or anything. I know it's, it's for what he's doing, so I, you know, his family really understands and still backs him up. But despite all the dedication, concentration, and sweat, there's one element in bodybuilding Rich Gaspari cannot control. His height of five foot nine puts him at a disadvantage in a sport where traditionally taller men have dominated. The thing I have to be is perfect in all, all around physique. I have to have a, a perfect physique, even 10% better than a taller physique to be better than that physique. I have to have a better presentation, a better positive outlook. This first generation Italian from just outside Newark, New Jersey has grabbed hold of the American dream and firmly believes he's about to make history. The thing is, I'm going to win the first Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. There only could be one first-time winner, and I know it's going to be me.